Hey kids, it's Mr. Miller. I am an elementary physical education teacher in the suburbs of Philadelphia. I get to teach all of you all of the sports that I love. Today, we get to work out with NBA player Mason Plumley. Mason Plumley played for Duke University. He won the national championship in 2010. He now plays for the Denver Nuggets. He is six feet, 11 inches tall, so we know all of the activities that we are doing today will work for people up to seven feet tall. If you're over seven feet tall, we can't make any promises for you. What's up guys, this is Mason Plumley from the Denver Nuggets. I'm gonna help host phys ed today. We're gonna do it from the house since we're all stuck. Let's get started by doing some stretches and warming up. You saw Mason's highlight reel. Let's do some hook shot stretches. Reaching over to one side, getting those oblique muscles nice and stretched out. Switching sides. Get low and play defense like Mason. Chop those feet. You're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna explode through your toes. Let's do a reverse dunk like Mason loves to do. basic jump rope. It's snowing out here in Denver, but we're not going to let that stop us. You've got your basic two foot jump. You've got your skier side to side. Whatever you do, make sure you're keeping a good rhythm. And we're going to do a little one foot hop. Left foot, right foot. Now we're going to go boxer back and forth both ways I think it's good to stay on your toes easier to keep the rhythm that way go in out hopscotch and then now we're gonna do some double jumps so you're gonna spin the rope twice jump once Hadn't done that in a while. Just keep progressing and challenge yourself with more things like cross. And just have fun with it. Side. Woo. There's a little altitude out here in Denver. Hopefully you don't have that. But this is one of my favorite exercises. Get your heart rate going, get your legs going. It's fun to have a little rhythm. Remember, if you don't have a jump rope at home, you can make your own using ropes, t-shirts, towels, plastic bags, or even a hula hoop. If you don't have any of those, use an imaginary jump rope. we're stuck at home there's lots of ways to have fun and practice your fundamentals well. these are some activities that I do in my gym at school but I also created them at home using supplies and things around the house you can do the same now you don't have to do this I'm gonna make it look a little cool so I'm just getting a towel and putting it over my ramp Please remember the basics of rolling. When we roll the ball, 
All right, we bend our knees, we point towards our target, and we swing our arm nice and straight. If I release the ball like this, the ball is gonna go over there. If I go right towards my target, it should go right to where I want it to go to. I'm right-handed, I'm gonna step with my opposite foot, my left foot. So I'm gonna point, step, and roll. If I'm left-handed, all right, I'm gonna step with my right leg. Take my time, bend my knees, point towards my target, and roll it. 40 points. If you wanna be fun and goofy, use a toilet paper roll. Step, point, roll. Hey Mason, how you doing over there with ski ball? I just used a Papa John's pizza box and some shoe boxes to lift the, the ramp. And then we got different point values. This one is so hard to get into. I figure if you hit it here, you win automatically. You can continue to practice your underhand technique with my homemade bowling. We changed up the locations. We're in the hallway right now. We're gonna do some bowling. So the pins are set up. I'm gonna try and use the larger ball. Let's see how many pins I can knock down. Here we go. Bend my knees, point towards my target. Two left, all right. I'm gonna move some of them out of the way. Let's see if I can pick up a spare. Nine down, not bad. Now you try it at home. These are a couple exercises that you can do during a pandemic. You can do them when you're in timeout. You can do them when your mom sends you to your room. The first is just a bicycle touching your elbow to your knee. Getting full extension. I like it because it works on my core and it stretches out my back. Once you've done three sets of 20, four sets of 15, whatever you want to do, you'll know when you're sore. And then I like to complement it instead of alternating. I like to grab a ball or something and do some of these. Full extension without letting the ball or your heels hit the floor. If you don't have a basketball, you can use whatever you have. I just want to thank you for working out with me today. I had a lot of fun. I want to leave you with a quote from my favorite childhood book, Oh, The Places You Will Go by Dr. Seuss. Oh, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. I think we all have mountains in life, um, whether it's a subject in school, whether it's a personal matter. Um, whether it's just getting in shape or, or beating this virus. So um, I want to encourage you guys to go find your mountain, make sure you move it, and have fun doing so.